Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for the first week of April 2024. If you want to enter to win a free reading, go ahead and put free reading in the comments. This is Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading, and we are in your season. So happy birthday to all of my Aries out there. Um, this eclipse season coming up, the solar eclipse rather, is it's got some good energies going. I feel I'm an Aries moon. Scorpio sun. <laughs> this is a pretty crazy <laughs> combination of things. Anyway, um, I, I don't know. I feel for the Aries collective, I feel those, um, I don't know. Emotionally, I always feel like I need to wear my heart on my sleeve and like let people know very directly how it is like that I feel. My, my emotions are very forthright being an Aries moon. So um, I'm here with y'all. You're safe here. Let's go. <laughs> Um, ooh. okay, Archangel Michael, please send clear, concise messages through for my Aries collective spirit. Please protect this reading. Send any negative energies back to sender, transmuted tenfold, greatest good of all, and harm to none. And Mother Mary, please bring compassion to these messages. Amen, amen. So mode it be. Okay. The overall energy for the reading for you, Aries, is the Five of Wands reversed, the Six of Pentacles reversed, and the Ten of Cups reversed. These don't have reverse meanings. Um but let's talk about them a little bit. The five of wands, we have the beaver. He works really hard to keep his dam um, and his home in order. And yet the emotional waters sort of break it down regardless. Um, the really interesting thing about beavers is they create like entire ecosystems just through the establishment of their home because the waters build up behind where they build their dams and it creates this whole like valley um environment and then we have the bison i think this is let me see it's not a bison it's um six of pentacles this card talks about symbiotic relationships and how they can become like toxic water buffalo and the ox pecker so the water buffalo and the oxpecker have a symbiotic relationship and the oxpecker eats the bugs off of the water buffalo, but it also will like pick into the water buffalo skin and drink its blood. So you're sort of figuring out um, how to engage in symbiotic relationships with people before and, and then set your boundaries before it gets to a point where like one or the other of you is taking too much or giving too much and then the ten of cups talks about community emotional wish fulfillment um it reminds me this card a little bit of the ark like noah's ark finding your divine counterpart as well so we'll read the ten of cups and i think i'm going to turn these all over because again these cards don't have like reverse meanings there may be you may be thinking that there's blockages in these energies and we'll kind of get into it with the tarot and see what's going on um but i don't have any bad feelings about these energies at all yeah beavers construction boundaries determination creativity and having fortitude the ten of cups okay that was weird the ten of cups carries feelings of happiness and contentment with life it is an energy created from the simple joys of being in harmony with those within your community and nature. The Ten of Cups can indicate that a problematic situation is ending, opening the door for a peaceful time in your life. Moments of stress and struggle will be replaced by feelings of optimism and bliss. When you lean into the Ten of Cups energy, you will find it easy to connect emotionally with those around you whom you cherish. Suppose you are experiencing conflict or a difficult situation. Lean into the Ten of Cups energy you will naturally create a bridge between differences so that common ground can be found. Finding the emotional strength to extend an olive branch will have lasting positive effects. Focus your energy on what you have in common rather than where your differences keep you apart. The Ten of Cups message is that we all gain when we work together to create an atmosphere 
that promotes peace and harmony. The forest animals come together for the Ten of Cups as they are a community that brings their unique talents and resources to support each other. Community, connectedness, and growth. Interesting. Um, Scorpio had a big reading yesterday about community as well and finding this like kind of ability to be in the present moment joy and, and create community. So if you have Scorpio placements, maybe check that one out. That's their April reading. This is your overall April reading, however, first week of April. And it's very much about like what we talked about. Oh my gosh, on the Ten of Pentacles, setting boundaries. Um, okay. Ace of Wands reversed on the Chariot. Ten of Pentacles. What's your present energy? Wow. And then your rising crossing energy. The Empress reverse. Love Swords reverse. And their outcome. What is this Ten of Pentacles? In your past queen of pentacles reverse huh i have a feeling i'm talking to a male collective or um a collective of areas who are regardless of your your biological um at birth sort of gender you're in your male energy i don't know why that was so hard to say uh mercury retrograde is today it begins today. So you in the past had kind of everything, anything that you needed or you felt that way or you were in a situation that looked that way. Um, but I feel like you gave everything, gave all of like everything, everything you had to a situation. Um, and somebody just took it and ran with it. And you were like, oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Like, cool um here i am now in my nine of wands wounded warrior energy with the 10 freaking swords in my back um the empress reverse the four of swords reverse so coming into your energy is you're figuring out how to like how to receive again like your energy right now is when you're in a Ten of Pentacles situation or a Ten of Cups situation or something makes you happy, you're all in. All of the energy you have, especially like Nine Wands and Ten Swords is like a lot of mental and like vital energy. And then you have the Ace of Swords and Chariot. Like you're very, um, when you're passionate about something, it's, it's all of your resources, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, all of your resources go into it. And with the six of pentacles and your overall energy and the five of wands and the ten of cups here there's something about realizing that moderation in these various elements especially your vital energy and your material resources um, allows for this emotional cup to overflow um the four of swords reverse the empress in your incoming energies, both of them reverse, is your heart might be a little bit closed off right now because you still have some more like healing to do and you haven't really had the opportunity yet to, I'm hearing like say your prayers, whatever it is you believe in, like divine, whatever divine guidance you ascribe to or higher self or vision, you don't, there's something here where you haven't, allowed yourself to be in a receptive energy because last time you were in a receptive energy you were taken for everything you were worth um and that's pretty clear here i don't know if this was the like i'm hearing this could have been like a parent like a parent that you gave everything to or um you could be the parent this could be like this five of swords could be like an ungrateful child who um took everything or like I don't know. It's like you dished everything out to somebody who was just not even close to being on the same wavelength as you 
they took you for granted and they thought that this was like winning um I don't know. so you're you're guarded you understand what this situation is if this resonates for you so i'm not gonna like dig too deeply into icky past energies because like we know we know what that is um i want to know what the empress reverse with the four of wands is oh my gosh you're ten of cups the four of swords i said sorry i said the four of wands maybe there's a four of wands coming interesting the four of swords reverse though is like I'm getting this sense that you may have a, a feeling this Empress energy is like coming to you or available to you somehow and it's making you mentally like uneasy but not in a bad way. You're sort of envisioning your Ten of Cups right now like you haven't really put your order in with the universe you're just sort of letting yourself mull it over. Seven of Cups reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse is like when you make a decision, <clears throat> when you make a decision about what this is, um, it'll just be here. It's just here. Um, the Eight of Wands is here and then you have the Nine of Wands and Ten of Swords at your center energy. So the Nine of Wands is like, come, it comes after the Eight of Wands. These eight stays are just kind of flying through the air. We don't know if they're going to hit and they do. 8 plus 9, 8 plus 1 equals the 9. Hmm. This is you returning energy to sender as well. Like, whatever happened to you in this situation back here, Five of Wands, Five of Swords, it could have been a group situation. I'm seeing these pentacles and the stars with the five points on them. It could have been like a family dynamic or group situation. Maybe even something like a like you're gathering at Easter or like some some sort of drama that involved like five to ten people or ten or more people there's like community here there's fives and tens you might be seeing ten ten or five five as um confirmation of this message you literally have four tens here and two fives that's crazy um sorry uh so this is you returning energy to sender what is the advice here knight of pentacles so you are going to have the opportunity to rebuild and to move as slowly as you need to, to take your time to enjoy. One of my favorite um, Knight of Pentacles depictions is a, a Thoth tarot. It's back here. And he's got this stag helmet, which indicates like connection with the divine. And then he's got this shield and the shield is almost like made of energy and he's in this field of wheat and it's just golden and beautiful and it's like the golden hour and he's just he's got his helmet kind of off so he's he's not exactly tuned in but he's not exactly tuned out he's just sort of in both worlds in the moment enjoying himself and this is kind of where i feel like you're headed what is the um advice more advice, please, for Aries Collective, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups Reverse, the Moon, the Hangman, Pisces Energy. Something may have occurred in Pisces season, or you could be dealing with Pisces here, or Cancer. You have the Chariot Reverse and the Queen of Cups Reverse. Um, so I think your advice is to... Stay balanced in the physical... In your finances, um, Queen of Cups Reverse is like, with the moon and the hangman, it's like, don't get too caught up in the dream of something or the potential of someone. Uh, the Queen of Cups Reverse is somebody who is not in tune with her, her tenderness. It's like she has the capacity to be empathetic, but she chooses instead to engage with the two of pentacles here in transactional relationships this could be something about yourself that you don't see as well but i'm getting the feeling here that if this is a if this is something that you're doing it's because of this sort of original wounding um the hangman talks about the necessary sacrifice for enlightenment. 
and that sacrifice could very well be something egoic. Um, that's how he, that's how he becomes enlightened, right? Gets his halo around his head. Um, he hangs on the tree for nine days, the tree of life, I think, for nine days with a stab wound. That's the story of Odin with a stab wound bleeding out. And then on the ninth day, he is like about to die or something and he gets the knowledge of the runes. So there's something here about you also potentially learning like the language of light, especially light within the subconscious. So like you may be getting some sort of like awakening to what's in your subconscious that's motivating these transactional relationships in your external reality, whether you're embodying that or engaging in that or whether that's just kind of what you've been attracting in the past and you're able to start to pay attention to what it is you do want rather than what it is you don't which is why the seven of cups is reversed with the eight of wands reversed the knight of pentacles it's like you're almost tenuously carrying this forward you may even feel stuck because of how slowly things are moving in in regard to these sorts of um communal connections but it's almost like you're rewiring your brain like as you rewire your brain um to operate differently in the world to give your energy differently to balance you have the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles to balance give and take in your relationships, in your com community, in your work, um, things begin to, as they, like, as those connections occur in your brain, it begins to reflect in reality. Interesting. Five of Cups reversed. So you're not, like, spending any more time wallowing here or with things that emotionally drain you. Oh, yeah, if you give everything to situations, you might have, like, the kinds of connections in your life where, like, people come to you to, to, um, just trauma dump, basically. Like, just tell you, like, this is what I went through. And then they don't have, there's not an equal exchange. They don't have an equal exchange of empathy for you with the Queen of Cups reverse. It's just, it's just, oh, Aries is always going to be there for me. Um. Okay, I kind of want to use the light sears, yeah. I want to get some overall, like, sort of beneficial energies for this week. Because it's like, I feel like those are very, like, general messages, um, which is okay. I feel like those are things that a lot of people deal with. And it could just be that you're wrapping that, like, karmic cycle up this week. Or it's becoming, like, very apparent to you somehow. Um, so I do want to get some positive messages, like how do you proceed to healthy community? The Four of Cups. The World. Okay, cool. Closing this cycle out. The Moon Reverse. All right, all right. The Magician Reverse. And the Empress. Okay, cool. So you have the Empress Reverse here with the Four of Swords Reverse. Your advice to get into this empress energy where you're receiving what it is you're worth and you're nurturing um the people and community around you is to say goodbye or close out cycles with anything that makes you feel like emotionally half-hearted um if you're if you're like doing something that that you're just kind of used to doing it's not it's not really lighting you up it's not really coming from a place of like compassion for yourself or for those around you it's not coming from a place of like inspiration or desire it's just it looks good because like there's rainbows right it looks good but there's still just this blah feeling um you're encouraged this week to close out cycles with that situation those hobbies those mindsets those people whatever it is um and this, the moon reversed, we had the moon upright with the hangman over here, right? Before the moon reversed is you literally like uncovering these subconscious motivations by, um, with the five of wands here, like carefully constructing your 
home and I mean your energetic home like with the ones this is your vital energy I mean carefully bringing intention and awareness to the present moment as you go through your day and seeing like what are the habits and the hobbies and the the mind especially the mental is coming through for some reason like what is what is my mindset about this am I just on go is this just my normal thing or like do I actually want that second cup of coffee this morning or do I want to go for a run like just something to change it up here um, explore your boundaries and your habits and shake things up a little bit so that what it is that you're doing that you're taking for granted about yourself your life excuse me about yourself your life and your um, surroundings becomes sort of more obvious because you have distance from it the magician reversed um, also talks about with the moon reversed here it talks about needing to gain some perspective before you begin to consciously manifest. And so that's what this perspective is. This is you closing out cycles with anything that no longer serves you by actively exploring from a place of curiosity, like childlike curiosity, what it is that you do in your day to day and asking yourself, like, is this really me? Is this really what I want? And if not, what do I want? How do I replace this? Um, it can be something as simple as changing your toothpaste or your aftershave or your makeup or your facial regime or whatever to, you know, going on a diet, exercise. Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to encourage anybody to diet or not diet. It's just, you know, start somewhere with, with this. You could start by journaling, um, get a new laundry detergent, and then maybe open your habits up to other things. Like maybe you start a new hobby. Maybe you start fishing. I don't know. <laughs> the Empress, though, means that like this, this moon is attached to her and the tides in her gut. Like she talks, she follows her gut. And her gut is associated with like the community of the earth. And there's like these fish in the water here that talks about like emotional flow as well as the earth itself and like the processes of like the seasons. So as you uncover these processes about yourself, you'll find you're more in the flow. You'll find that it's easier to feel nurtured and to nurture others. <sighs> yeah, I have a good, good feeling about this week for you. I feel like there might be a little and the hangman reversed. Awesome. You have, you have the moon and the hangman upright in the other reading and now you have them reversed yeah you'll feel less stuck as you begin to just kind of shake things up you might just be in like a rut or a routine um yeah and just needing to shake it up a little bit so aries that's what i have for you this week if uh this reading resonated with you please let me know like comment share subscribe you can book a personal with me on my etsy or donate all of that information is in the description box below otherwise i'll see you all next week